Hello everyone, this is Initiate Phase 1. We're gonna be back with the second special video where I briefly explain some of uh, my history and stuff. I just expand on the window a bit. Um, <coughs> so, I am um, put in my hard drive and I have all my like projects, like my coding projects, just like put in here, I think, with a bunch of other random crap in here, as you can see. Um, so I have two here, quite free actually. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show Zombie Madness. This is the original, and then I made a rebuild in Allegro, which kind of died off after a while once I got back into uni, um, unfortunately. But I got kind of stuck, actually. Um, hopefully, I have the actual game in here. Yeah, I do. Thank God. Um, it's actually out of just one file, which is good. Just gonna run that. Um, let me expand the window to fit this. Oh crap! That was about there. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Now we can make adventure mode, and I think I was started developing on that, but I never finished it. So we're gonna go survival mode. Um, I'm just gonna go easy for now. I'm gonna go normal. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a challenge. <coughs> You know, I was a big fan of those little animations. And these are the instructions. These just explain things. I'm going to go over these. So, the plus equals health packs. Heals 10 health when you pick it up. T is for traps. Traps do 10 da 100 damage to a zombie that sends, stands on it. Uh, Z is zombie. They get faster and harder to kill. And at sign, none of you. You are the only survivor alive. And you got the buttons. You got S for cancel. C for clear, D for detonate, because you can add C4 in this. Um, T for traps, space for action, buy, or shoot, because you can shoot as well. Arrow keys to move. Qui Q, qui <laughs> Q to quit. Um, attacking is you just basically move into a zombie, because you have a melee weapon. That's how I did it anyway. And this is like the menu before every wave. I'm on wave one right now. Um, you start with like a thousand dollars here. Um, <coughs> let's see, now I could do a damage update, great I think, um, you can see it goes up here, damage, and maybe a health upgrade, and uh, but you have to kind of, you can put down random health packs too, I'm going to go ahead and do that, so if we start now, if we push S to start, we're going to jump on in, and uh, as you can see, I move around using the arrow keys, Oh look, there's the zombies, and um, once they're in your line of sight, they will come to attack you. Um, it's just a basic field of view. They leave blood stains, which I thought was kind of cool. Again, I used the same sort of background effect I did in Lemmings. I developed this after I developed Lemmings. Um, so these A's, they are actually um, ammo you can pick up. Now, if you pick one, I think, oh no, I'm pretty max on capacity, I think. So if I shoot... You have a chance to miss too. I killed him. Oh yeah. All right. The goal is to kill all the zombies to um, get to the next wave. Um, these are barricades. You can't actually see through those. And you know we have a broken barricade there. Can't get through there. I'm trying to find the entrance here. It's more like a window. Here's the stairs. Here's a door. You can get through doors. Um. And now, this seems relatively e easy, but once, um, see, there we go, we clear the wave. Um, each map will change so often. I think every five ways you'll move to a different location. And also, you get nighttime and, um, daytime, which, um, will affect your field of view and the actual graphical look of the game. Um, these are all, uh, I think I developed this over maybe a space of like six months. Just straight doing it. I'm gonna keep upgrading my health here heal for only one dollar here <laughs> I don't know why I chose to do dollars I am a resident of the UK I don't know um, you can also upgrade your gun if you push G you go into a different menu you can buy clips and crap like that um, we can go back now to build you push B and now this is the map here we will give you an overview of the map and to put traps down you just push T and it costs you 10 each um, but if a zombie walks into it they will, they will basically uh, die. 
Nah, I forgot B. Now, I think there was a bug with that, actually. That I never actually got around to fixing it. It did originally work. I don't know, but... If you, if you do go on playing it, then... <coughs> then it may not work for you. Just, just a warning. Um, so let's start this. Oh, let's start right next to a zombie. Not good. See how you can see how the um, tone of colors have changed. This this indicates that it's nighttime now. So it goes day night, day night, day night sort of thing. Um, what's my health on? I'm doing pretty good. I'm killing these pretty well. Ouch! One whacked me. Um. Oh, I got one there. You can, I think you can also have custom mode, which I will show after, because I can show you how crazy that gets. I'm going to save my money up a bit, because now it's daytime. I'm going to pick that health up. If you want to go scope them, no scope these little bastards, then you can do that. You just press space to shoot. Ouch, ouch, I fucked up there. Now, I think they do like a random base of damage, but their damage and speed speed up per wave. That's how it is. Uh, let's check the building out. Alright, we got a few more in here. Yeah, there's some interesting maps too, so I'm gonna heal up. Alright, we hit gap through that one. So, um, I ain't got enough money to do that. I'm just gonna go to the next one. It's now nighttime again. You can see my field of view is shorter. I don't know if their field of view is shorter on this. I can't quite remember when I, when I coded this. Because again, I coded this when I was maybe like 16 odd. <coughs> Which is a young age to be coding games like this. I must admit, I'm pretty... I'm pretty... Um, I feel achieved for having coding stuff like this. It's pretty advanced. Um, to code like this, the field of view and... You know... How the zombies, you know, come towards you and stuff. You know, coding that all in code, no help, no engine, nothing, is pretty damn difficult. Not gonna lie, it took me a long time to learn all that stuff. It right, looks like we got some in the building. I'm not sure how many zombies get added every time. Seem to be losing health here, I'm gonna heal up. Ain't got enough money to do much, I can um, do that. I can see fours are... 500 each, they're pretty expensive. So you kind of buy them later on if you survive enough. The blood seems to be sticking to this map a lot. Um, I didn't add a field of view to the blood, so you can see the blood basically anywhere on the map. It starts to get real messy. Um, let's quickly run through these. Whoa, there's a lot of zombies here. <laughs> Fuck that, they can they can't swarm you and corner you. Like... Could run through them like that. <laughs> it's like a battering ram. Just charge, charge. All right. Um. Hell yeah! This is when we move locations. You see that little animation? They're like following you to the new location. Pretty good. All right. So they stay night. Wave profit. So you get a little bonus. Um, like building bonus is when. You keep most of the location intact. They give you a little building bonus. I think Joe Larson um, suggested that back then. You move to a new location. Press U to upgrade. All right. Do we have a bonus? Now, I kind of want to show you the C4, so I'm going to grab one of those. Um, that's probably a huge bad idea. I'm going to throw down some med packs as well, just in case. Um, let's go start. Oh, crap. Oh, <laughs> picked up one by accident. So good. Now I can't quite remember. I think you just push C. Ah. All right. Let me see what kind of map this is. It looks like we have a mansion or some sort of shit over here. All right. We got ammo. I'm gonna pick that up. I think that's ammo. Doesn't seem to be working when I go over it. So maybe that's bugged out too. I'm not sure. Um, it's been a long time. <laughs> So I'm going to do a few games of this. And I'm going to show you the C4 now. So if I put the C4 down here. Uh, I'm going to move fucking far away. Boom. <laughs> you see that? Hell yeah. The little animation as well. I thought that would be pretty damn good. Like just a kind of bunch of random characters in the, um, the radius. You basically. All you do is draw a circle. Um, and then you. Um, fill the circle. 
with like a bunch of random characters with different tones of color and stuff and that kind of happens for about maybe like a couple of seconds or less and holy crap <laughs> and then you uh, basically remove all the kill all the zombies in that area oh god holy crap I forgot to pick up Megma we're gonna have to go in this building oh crap he's fucked the door up you asshole break that door no oh my god what is gonna be the enemy if I can survive this it's gonna be super shock shocking I didn't realize they could break doors maybe I shouldn't have done that and then again, you'll be super safe if you let them, you know, I think I could survive this and heal up in the next one. There goes my phone again. I gotta stop leaving that, um, um, what's it called? Anyway, um, let's do a health upgrade here. All right. Go ahead and go to the gun upgrades. Gonna buy a clip. Oh, no, I ain't got the money to buy a clip. All right, well, let's start. Oh my god. It does get really bad. I want to show you the rebuild game that I did. That is a little more like um Daisy than anything. I think I um, uh, I was doing it until I got up to the inventory inventory system and then I um kind of got sidetracked and didn't ever get a chance to do it anymore so that you get it you're noticing they're getting way more HP and they're doing way more damage living through this is probably not gonna be possible and I forgot to put down health packs crap I'm definitely dead <coughs> oh I fucking survived hell yeah I'm gonna heal on up put down health packs oh my god <laughs> it's just so many zombies now shit um by putting down health packs, it randomly puts down a few health packs in the game. Oh my god. They're just coming for me. They can't surround you and you will be stuck. Unless you can like plow through them. Let's pick up some health packs here. I don't want to do too many waves. Um, I want to. I want you guys to download and give it a go. Ouch! Less. There we go. Heal on up. Uh, let's buy damage upgrades. That should help a bit. Oh my God! There's gonna be so many zombies. <laughs> uh. Shit! <laughs> Did you see that? They fucking surrounded me, the little assholes. Um, let me pick up that hell pack. Oh shit! 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 Oh my god! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! Where's the hell packs? Give me, give me that! I can't do this not without my hell packs. <coughs> oh fucking hell! This is pretty bad. There's a blood bath around here. Look at all this blood. Oh yeah, new location, hell yeah. Alright, got a nice big bonus there actually. That's huge. I'm gonna do all my damage. Oh, damn, I did all my damage. Wasn't kidding about that. Um, So it tells you down at the bottom, you're wave 11. 11? <laughs> 11? Yeah. Um, zombies HP are 20 and they do 2 to 8 damage. Oh, new map, interesting. They totally broke through this door. <laughs> They're gonna break through all these doors. Oh god, this one's sort of like split into sections. You can see they can see me there, and they're kind of like breaking through these barricades. Make a swift exit down here. God, Jesus, this is really bad. I love the field of view. The field of view is just an amazing thing for me. I loved it. I just love it anyway. I just love it. Like every space changes it and. <clears throat> this is cool. I think it's it was one of the coolest things I learned when developing these games. I think this this way would do it, and then we'll move on to I sh show you the rebuild 
which is obviously still in development, but, you know. Where's the last one? Oh, can't get through there. They obviously the problem I did was um with doors or barricades when they break they turn into like little apostrophes or even dots. And they're kinda hard to see. Oh, where is he? I've lost him. Maybe a mini map would do good too. Maybe he's stuck in here. Oh there he is. <laughs> Alright, well, that's that game. I'm gonna go ahead and close that down now. I'm gonna leave you guys to play that. Um, I gotta go back to my hard drive. Go rebuild. All right. Um, if I go into bin, release. Is it release or debug? It's one of these. Um, hopefully failed to load file. No, nope, it's not that one. Let's close that up. <coughs> All right, it's gonna be this one then. Here we go. It's loading items. This is your console window. Because it's built in Allegro, you have the second window here. It's a lot smaller, I must admit. There we go. Well, that went weird. All right. So use the ASD keys to move around. Now it is running a bit fast at the moment, but I did put in a speed regulator in it, so it makes the frames per second about 30, I think. I think anyway, so after a bit of time, if we just wait a little longer, it will start to slow down. That should happen much more quicker, actually. Um, how I generated the map, I kind of like built my own generator here, and I kind of, um, I kind of like built clusters of trees everywhere. Um, you can actually push space to attack. See, now you have a, like a melee animation weapon and everything. Um, I'm going to explain this. Now it's starting, yeah, now it's starting to, um, about 15 frames per second it runs at I think about 12 to 10 that's like the regular for an Akaski game anyway um, for me anyway otherwise it goes too fast alright so I'm gonna show you here up here is what I'm looking at here you can see this is the mouse it works as well you can actually well I think you used to be able to click and it'll move you there but I think I took out the pathfinding um, so space when you push it lights up X does something and I'm not sure what it quite does yet um, used to be able to block actually. Where is that gone? Huh. <laughs> um, this is your inventory. This is the bit I was working on. So if I hover over this and hold shift and push space, I'll pick all this up. Now that was just there for a test. I made it so. So, but I got into like a little bug where I couldn't reverse quite reverse the, um, stuff here. And you obviously have a weight as well. This was inspired by... Um, Project Zomboid, the actual game I'm doing now. Um, so we can move on around here. There will be zombies around. I want to find a zombie actually because the, um, the combat system I did was in this was an action based one. Damn, looks like I'm not going to be able to find one. Well, you can actually chop through these trees. I made it so you kind of start with like a machete. And this is your stamina and health bar. Forgot to mention that. So you're going to slash. So many times would you because of your stanimer so that can put you in quite a predicament if you're swamped by zombies which in this case not many zombies are around I just keep slashing through this section here until I reach another open area because that one was kind of dead-ended um, this may take a while I'm sorry it wasn't development and no, I didn't get everything perfect Damn it, come on. I'm going to go head down now, I think. All right, well, that looks like it's going to take too long. I could just um, restart it, I guess. Maybe even head down in another area to see if that gives me any luck. Alright, let's go ahead and restart it. See, the map is randomly generated each time. It takes a little boat to load, but it's not too bad. Alright, we're in super speed again. Looks like we started in the actual middle of nowhere. Alright, well, that's better. Um, 
Should probably have increased the zombie amount. While I'm doing this, it's good to have the speed up actually, because it'll get through this quicker. Don't slow down. <laughs> oh, damn. Come on, I need a nice big open area. Um, obviously, this game's a little bit floored at the moment. Not floored, just um, unoptimized. Obviously, because it was in development. Alright, we do have buildings as well. I forgot to mention that. You can go through doors and stuff. Never really got around to... Oh, a zombie. When, you, when he spots you, this, see this? Oh, he fucking run at me. <laughs> Shit. They're much more aggressive in this. And see, at least a little marker here where you last saw them. Well, it's actually, you can still spot them for a bit. But then it'll disappear. Um, if I push Q, I do a scan mode, which will scan for any zombies. It's like a sound wave sort of thing. I thought that'd be a good thing. Instead of having, I did used to have a mini map, actually. I think I took that out and replaced it with that. Um, I wanted to kind of, all right, so. You should light up and come towards me. Um, I think I have a pro. There you go. See, I actually am amazed by that. I love that. I thought it was cool. So, like, we have this, like, action-based system where you got, like, little points popping out. Pretty good. Oh, shit. He popped out. No, he's a black one. No wonder why I couldn't see him. Not to be racist there. Um, they do come in different colors. Um, like red, pink, <laughs> and everything else. He just happened to be brown. Um... I think that's water there, yeah. Um, I did put water in it, but I um, couldn't do much with that. I think zombies just randomly spawn in the area after time, actually. So, there's a few items that I added in. But that's the basis of it, I guess. That's literally just it. That's all I got up to. And I never got around to doing it. I'm pretty sure I had a shield, but I might have took that out. I think it was buggy, and you couldn't even knock back with it. I'm trying to figure out if there's another button or something. I don't think so. But anyway, thank you for joining. I'm going to leave the download for this in the uh, description as well. Um, and then we're going to go jump straight back to Project Zomboid. If you guys want any more information about this, just drop them down in the comments. Um, <sighs> sorry. <sighs> I did only just wake up a little while ago. Uh, but as I was saying, if you... um. Have any um, more questions and stuff? Just um, link them down in the bottom. Um, we'll comment them down in the bottom. That'd be great. All right, thank you for joining. See you guys later.